Just a simple ball down, down the line for, for Donaway, but didn't work out that time. Down in the way, ball's played into Donaway. He's got between his two men there, gets to the edge of the box, going for the return. Donaway's broken into the box. Can he get a shot away? It's uh, well saved by the goalkeeper, Apple Yard. I thought we were getting a goal there. Two minutes. Again, Tadcaster keeping a good shape, but already starting to sit just a little bit deeper. To try and court ball to Charman. Nice ball back to Hunt. Hunt in an advanced position here. Gets the ball across, and uh, yeah, almost just couldn't quite get the quality on the ball. But uh, that's certainly the first time we've seen Nicky Hunt in that position in a, in, a, in open play this season, isn't it? Shout for handball off Donoa turned down. Donoa gets on the ball and then gives it back to Wheatley. Headley comes across to Little. Finds the, uh, Rivers, nice little ball. Then he's on the overlap, comes to Little. Little's poking yeah. past the goalkeeper, and there's the opening goal for the Quakers. 12 minutes in, Michael Little takes the return pass and slides into the bottom corner for the opener. Been coming, hasn't it, really? Been coming since the first minute. Lovely football. Must have been, what, well, what's the replay? Four or five players involved. Rivers with the final pass into Little. And lovely, lovely just rolled it past, he's rolled it there past the goalkeeper, it's gone in the middle of the goal really, I'm not sure about uh, about Appleyard's angles there, but maybe a little harsh, but you're right, it's been coming hasn't it? Plays down to Souza. Souza's having a good run forward here, he's got a couple of men around him, one of them's Hunt, gets to the edge of the box, gets the shot, Saltman's spilled it and it needs uh, Alex Storey to clear that one away. That just shows how alive this game is, good work from Souza. ball comes into the box, it's headed down, again the chance comes for a Tagcaster shot, Little has to clear that with his head. Tagcaster in Darlington's box for just about the first time, comes inside where Storey picks it up, Storey untroubled this evening as he often is, cruises through games often, Rivers has overran the ball there, just lost his balance I think and slipped over. Tagcaster with a chance to counter as Rivers brings himself back on his feet, the ball from Santos wide left. Ball comes into the box, it's headed just over the top there. Great bit of work down that left-hand side from Tagcaster Albion. Is that number nine, Billy Thompson with the header. Thompson with the header over. Not far away there. Going in front of his man and, and then Headley in turn goes across to McMahon. Charman makes a good run down the line across his man and Charman gets there. Good work by the centre forward, takes his man all the way over with him. Then he finds Donoa. Donoa's got the pace to get on the end of it and earns Darlit in the corner. Little on the ball on this corner towards the tin shed. In swinger, this one's a lot deeper. Charman got on the end of it, took back in, and that's a goal for the Quakers. Pulled it all the way back, Charman. I think it's Alex Story who's nodded it in from close range. The ball looked like it was going to come back out. Fantastic skill to bring it back in, and uh, I think Tagcaster had just turned off. Yeah, Mick Dalton making the most of uh, of slack defended there. Charman's done well. It was actually Hunt who's played it back in there. It was Nicky Hunt who's flicked it back and Alex Storey headed it in. The Tadcaster players are looking for the foul there up against Pandora, aren't they? Thinking that Charman's fouled him, but I'm not, I'm not to totally sure there was a foul in it. I think Tadcaster Albion, the timing's been bad tonight playing after Darlington was so poor on Saturday. I think they've come out and found Darlington uh, much more up for it. That's a nice little nutmeg from Little through Pandor's legs. And then Reed picks it up. Rivers is inside the box. Rivers shoots. And there's the third for Jarrett Rivers. Again, Sean Reed's involved in the forward position. And then Rivers fires it into the bottom corner to make this 3-0. Making it look easy, that move there. Made it look easy. Makes you wonder why we haven't done that sooner. But, uh, Beautiful bit of football. Look at this little back heel from Sean Reed there. Right into the path of Jarrett Rivers. And then he just takes his time and fires it past uh, Dan Hartley and uh, Will Appleyard. Ball comes into Darlington's box there. It goes all the way across the face of gold. It's a really inviting ball. And Eriko Souza. Uh, Little's got enough pace there to get ahead of uh, Simon Russell, the uh, Tadcaster number eight, and just drop it back to Saltmer. 
And then the headed ball is going to come through into the path of Reed. Donoway gets on his bike to the right. Charman through the middle. Reed sees Donoway, finds the run. The touch is good. And he gets the shot away and props it past the goalkeeper. Justin Donoway makes it four in the first minute here at Blackwell Meadows. Formidable, Stu. Like that. Very good there. Uh, the ball just, just carried through to Reed, didn't it? There was a desperate slide and tackle, and Reed uh, waited, let the ball come across his body, and then he had two options. He had Charman go through the middle, he had Donoway to the right, and uh, he took the option of Donoway at full pace. Um, and Donoway's first touch was good enough, and then he was able to slide it past the goalkeeper. The linesman suddenly, certainly couldn't be any closer. Hunt just takes the, uh, the touch and then finds McMahon, McMahon sees Charman who's got five yards of space there, he's seen Donner outside him and Donner has got beyond uh, Jake Rose there, gets inside the box, Donner was looking for a ball across and he finds his man there, pulls it back nicely and Jarrett Rivers makes it five. Told you at half time, goal good second half. I'm going to have to start writing these goal scorers down here otherwise I'm going to start forgetting them. Goal frenzy. What do you reckon to do full time? What are we going to get? Reed still firing into closing the ball down. Still great attitude and hunger from the Quakers. And then Wheatley snaps into a challenge and plays the ball into Headley. A chance for uh, Jack Van to play the diagonal there, but Little's equal to it. And again, he's equal to the next one as well. Ball's on that far side. Played in, looking for the 1 2, and uh, I think that's Souza again going through the middle. It comes on the edge, and there's a chance there for Simon Russell just flashed past the post. Tagcaster still eager and keen to try and get off the mark here. Not far away with that one, man. Not far away. Well, yard maybe. He's yeah. There, Crook. Crook trying to play the ball beyond Little. It's a good foot race to see if they can keep it in. And the assistant flag stays down, so Little has to slide into a second challenge there. Good defending. Good defending indeed. And again, that's just a little heavy touch from Wheatley there. Wheatley plays it inside. Ball comes back to Souza. Souza's on the edge of the box. Good footwork and gets the gets the shot away. Only a yard or so wide. Finds Rivers in front of him. Rivers forced back by good work from Hartley and then Wheatley sends his man the wrong way and scampers into a bit of space that's opened up to him, they try to have a go at his ankle Reed gets the ball on the edge, Reed brings the ball across his body and just past the post there from Sean Reed. Headley's ball there goes straight to Souza. Souza just uh, bursts into the space and finds the pass, so impressed with him this evening he's looked good, uh, ball comes again, that's to uh, Russell, Russell gets it into the box chance to turn Twist and turn on the edge, Darling with three men around the ball, that's a nice bit of footwork though, and gets the shot away and Saltmer has to get his top hand to that one. Good work by the goalkeeper. Ball's back with Crook, and uh, can't see if that's, I think that's Santos trying to just turn the ball past Story there, but Story closed the door on him pretty quickly. Hudson comes and drifts into some space to pick the ball up and then just clips a nice ball. He's offering a, a more direct route there, but Hudson has his pocket picked. So again, it's Suzu who bursts into space and Darlington can't quite catch him, so he's all the way to the box there where Lang closes him up and then the cross comes across. Doesn't find a target straight away, but Russell's still there who can recycle the ball and give it to Hartley on that far side. Hartley comes inside to... I can't tell the number of that, but then the shot comes and it's back in the back of the net. So Tag Caster Albion do get the goal that they've been digging in for. Ball just bobbled in front of Saltmer. He got a hand to it, but he couldn't stop it. And it's the substitute, Jack Crook, who gets Tad Caster's goal for this evening. Yeah, Theo Hudson will be kicking himself because the uh, Tad Caster regained possession. Yep. From him losing it. Had his pocket picked early, didn't he? And then Tad Caster worked. Uh, Worked hard, created the chance, Crook opened his body up and uh, on a night like this where the surface is so slippery, it's going to be difficult for goalkeepers that. That's not a reaction to him wanting to make up for that, he was doing it before, the, before that moment. Yeah, it's his style isn't it I think. Ball again, uh, Tadcaster substitute appears between the holes and that's another Ooh. good attempt there. It's uh, another good bit of forward movement by Sanyang there, he's made an impression a couple of times, only been on the pitch a couple of minutes. 
Ball inside. Theo Hudson gets a little touch on it, and then he's getting Donoa outside him. The fullback had been sucked in a little bit. Donoa gets the shot oh, away, right and he breaks the net with that one just in Donoa, right into the far corner. He's been waiting for that space to open up in front of him this evening, and he's made no mistake. Lovely strike, that. Lovely strike from Justin Donoa. Theo, uh, Theo Hudson with the ball out from uh, from the from the centre, out to the right. Put Donoa in. Yeah, and, and good ball, and you can see the number three there, Jake Rose, got sucked in to try and... Uh, picked that ball up off Hudson, which gave Donner with that space. And uh, given the space, uh, he wasn't going to be asked back for a second bite, was he? He's burst the net with that one. Blimey, good strike. It's two for Donner at night, two for Rivers. Well, on the bright side, it's miles in legs, I suppose, isn't it, at this stage in the season? I do think, I do think Tartan had a tough gig starting against full time team, two full time teams with an undercooked pre season. Difficult yeah. situation this year. That's right. Yeah, we've got to take that into account with these uh, with these fixtures and the upcoming matches at Leamington Saturday and is it Bradford Park Avenue? The, the following well, it actually won't no, be, it'll it won't be the be FA no. Cup. Yes, but Leamington Saturday they've lost the, their first three games into the box there and uh, McMahon calmly chests that one down. Down, we've got players who are very comfortable in possession who can pass it around, string string a few passes together, keep possession. And when when, when down, have done that. They look, well, they look what they are, which is two divisions above Tadcaster, fully deserving of this big win. So there's McMahon popping up near the opposite corner flag. Could have been a foul there, but he's, played on his, he's kept on his feet. The referee plays advantage. Rivers gets the shot away, comes into the box for Donawa, but Donawa can't quite get there. Blown this one to a conclusion, I think. Looks at both watches. Ball's played just a little bit back behind Jake Rose there, and the referee does indeed put the whistle to his lips and blows the full-time whistle, and it's Darlington that will be in the hat on Thursday, one game away from the FA Cup first round proper. Uh, goals this evening from Michael Little, a couple from Jarrett Rivers, a couple from Justin Donawa, one from Alex Storey with Jack Crook getting the goal for Tadcaster Albion in reply. All credit to Tadcaster Albion who came here and gave it a real, real good shot and I think caught Darlington on a really good night, uh, but kept going to the end. So we wish.